Dubbo is basically the, the central hub of the West. It's the roundabout where everyone usually passes by. Here in Dubbo, they always make eye contact with you, you know, hoping that you'll say good day to them. It's definitely a good little town. When I first came to Dubbo, the moment I was welcomed at the door, I started to fall in love with the church. And I know that Dubbo has had a big history in terms of the people. When I got to meet them, I got to understand them. And as they continue to share the story with me, oh, I just love their vulnerability. I love their honesty. I love their willingness to change, willingness to grow. And it's, it's just, really, really helped me grow a, a close bond with this church. This group we called the Back to Back Brotherhood. I was introduced to, to, to these two young islanders here in town, uh, came straight from NZ. And, you know, we started talking and I said to them, hey, you know, what are you guys thoughts about starting up a Bible study group? And they said, yeah, hey, that'd be great. You know, I asked them, do you guys have a Bible? And they said, no, we don't have a Bible. Well, hey, I'll bring a Bible for you guys next Bible study. And you know the Bible that I brought them? Well, it was a World Changes Bible. After one week, they invited another friend. And then I asked him, hey, do you have a Bible? He says, nah, I've, I've never owned a Bible before. Well, hey, I've got a Bible for you. Went to my car, grabbed the World Changes Bible, laid it in his hands. Now all four of us have the same version. We've had so many guys come through this group and I give them all a Bible. And now we journey as a brotherhood together. Oh, for this kid, man. It's a huge transformation. He said to me, you know, Jay, I came to Australia just to party hard and to play rugby. I never thought in my life I will be part of a Bible study group. My name is uh, Robert Murphy, born in New Zealand, Auckland. I got a Tongan background. Grew up in playing footy back in New Zealand, played rugby union first. I uh, was uh, lucky enough to um, get a contract to come over to Sydney and um, played for the Bulldogs on the Tunis and uh, New South Wales Cup team. Had a bit of trouble there, got sent back home. I wasn't allowed in Australia for two years. My manager, like an agent, he like hit me up, asked me if I was keen to come back over. And I'm um, start fresh, start a new journey with footy again, man. Yeah, loving it. So um, I met Jay when I first came to Dubbo. Um, I was at a pub once, and the security guard at the pub, he was a Samoan bloke. And he goes to me, oh man, there's one, there's one guy I want to introduce you to. And I was like, who's that? He's like, a guy named Jay, he's a pastor. He came off Jay to my house. And I met Jay, you know, really energetic, really welcoming, really happy. I told myself I want to start surrounding myself with the right people. Jay wanted to start up a little group called um, Back to Back Brotherhood. Talking about like having a closer relationship with God. It's been over a year now since we've um, been hanging around with these boys. It started off with three of us. Now, there's a lot of lives changed just from this little group. The power of God being, being the sense of this group changed a lot of us. Earlier this year, I was part of the group that went to Converge to the camp, my first ever church camp I've been to, and it was just amazing. Like I never had that experience before. God is just, He's just transforming lives not just in these boys, but also through them and influencing those around them. And those around them are now asking, hey, what's the difference? What's the change here? You know, this group is like, I'm home away from home. I want to go out there and help someone else's life. Be a leader out in the community. Be a leader out wherever God takes me next. My name's Eunice and I hail from Papua New Guinea and I've been living in Australia for 35 years now. But while I was in New Guinea, I met this wonderful man, Peter, and we have three children. 
and nine grandchildren. I was very active in the church and I realised after three years that I needed more to life than what I was going through. I was called to do a literature ministry, which means that I went from door to door selling Christian literature. Then I felt a calling to the households of faith. What I mean by households of faith is that we are doing church in the home. In our discovery Bible readings, our group found that we were able to have open and honest discussions, ask questions, and try to find the answers from what we were reading. And you didn't have to have a Bible knowledge or spend so many years in the church in order to participate in a discussion. I didn't go to church. Yeah, it wasn't something that was really part of my lifestyle. My background is Catholic and then decided to leave the church when I left home and more or less have said no to all religion. Up until I met up with Eunice. She was telling me about the, her household of faith that she was holding at her home. I brought John along with me and it was very different to what I expected. And I felt very comfortable in her home and the way that they conducted it, it was nice. There's a lot of teaching and learning within the stories and the morals. That's what I'm interested in. There's got a lot of good learning there. I started looking for God a few years ago. I was searching everywhere for the right church. I found Seventh-day Adventist Church. And then I reached out to Eunice. And then she invited me to the home group church. Yeah, it's been amazing. <laughs> Amazing for my spiritual growth. Rochelle is my niece. She's very responsible, very reliable, and has a real deep passion for the Word of God. House Elves of Faith to me at first was a really awesome idea. I wanted to have connection with people. Yeah, getting deep into the Word but I also wanted to be able to make friends and make really feel like I was part of a family. Doing life on your own is too hard today, but doing life with a group who supports you and who prays for you is just wonderful. It's worth anything, it's worth all the hard work. It's worth all the preparation. It's worth every bit of effort that I put into it. I'm really looking forward to that time when I can open my home up to others because I want to be able to see the change in how... I want to be a witness to see how Jesus changes people's lives. He's done for me.